Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Educators, Performers, Create a Show. Yay! This is the series Mini Lessons with Berlin Teachers, and today we have four different languages for you. But before we get there, let me tell you that you can participate with us. You can check the Showcase app where you will be able to see the links to the profiles of all the teachers speaking today. And you can click on the icon above with the nine little squares and see the Showcase app. If you want to send a question, click on the Q&A and ask a question, and we might answer it live. If you're watching on YouTube, you might see on your video a little message on the bottom left. If you click on that message, it will open a new window where you can see the Showcase app and the question and answer app. And that little window on the bottom left says, what does it say, Tiago? What does it say, Tiago? Participe da conversação. And in English, it says, Oakley? Be part of the conversation. And in Chinese, it says... Great. <laughs> well, here's the Educators Performance Creative Show, and today we have teachers from Berlin.com preparing the have prepared some fun mini lessons for you. I'm going to say hello to all of them, and then we'll start with the mini lessons. Hello, Vinicius. Hello, everyone. It's great to be here. Hello, Iris. Hi. How are you guys? Great. Hello, Oakley. Hello, Paulino. Hello, fellow teachers, and hello, audience. Yay, Hi, audience. audience. <laughs> <laughs> and hello, Tiago. Hey, Paulino. How are you? Hey, everybody. How are you guys doing? Great. Tiago, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, meu nome é Tiago, eu sou do Brasil, vivo no estado da Bahia. My name is Tiago, I'm from Brazil, and I live in Bahia, which is a state here. Um, hoje, eu gostaria de passar um pouco para vocês sobre os números. I'd like to teach you a little about numbers, o que é bem usual, o que você vai precisar quando você vier visitar o Brasil. Um, vamos para o primeiro, primeiro número. Eu gostaria que todos repetissem. I would like you guys to repeat after me, please. Um. 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 Yeah, like you're kissing. <laughs> Dois. 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 Smiling. Dois. 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 Muito bem. Três. 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 Muito bem, muito bem. Quatro. 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 Muito bem. Cinco. 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 Nice. Seis. 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 You see how easy to speak Portuguese? You're always smiling. <laughs> Sete. 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 Perfect. Oito. 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 Nove. 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 Dez. 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 Very good, guys. Good, good job, guys. Well, um, I would like to repeat just a little, uh, a little uh, again, please. Paulino, vamos repetir só mais uma vez, bem rapidinho, para a gente fazer 
um jogo. We are going to repeat the numbers again, guys, just to play a game. All right? So, are you ready? I hope okay. so. Okay. Yeah. Repeat. Um. <laughs> um. Mm. Mm. Dois. 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 Três. Três. Quatro. Quatro. Cinco. 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 Seis. 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 Sete. 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 Oito. 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 Nove. 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 Dez. 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 Muito bem, muito bem. Esse jogo é chamado Jogo do Milhão. If you win this game, you're gonna get a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. First question. Um, let me see. Iris, o primeiro rádio foi inventado em... Eu gostaria que você repetisse os números como aprendemos. I would like you to repeat the numbers, it is, as we've learned. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll try. Um, All right. Do I just say each number? Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, mm -hmm. nove. Exato. I don't know zero. Zero. Okay, zero. Zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> Sorry, can you repeat that? Zero. Zero. Uh -huh. And quatro. Quatro, perfeito. E Vinícius, <laughs> qual, qual a data que você acha que o rádio foi inventado? Um, I don't know, but let me try. All right. 1903. Okay. Vinícius is an advanced student. Uh. <laughs> thank you, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Oakley, qual a sua opinião? Uh, okay. You want me to say it? O uma nova zero uma. Okay. Um, um. Uh, Why uma? Sorry. Um. <laughs> um muito bem. Um. Very uh. um. Oh. Oakley, você levou mil dólares. You've got Oakley a thousand dollars right now. So we got a yeah. full yeah. <laughs> All right, Oakley, you start now. A primeira televisão foi inventada em... Uh, hmm. Um... Nove... Uh, I forgot. Doce? Doce? Uh, Dois. 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 Uh -huh. Um. Ok. Um, nove, dois, um. Ok, ok. Vinícius. Now, let me try. Uh, ok. Um, nove, dois, três. Um, nove, dois, três. Muito bem. Iris. Ok. Uh, um, nove. Uh, dois, and what is six? Seis? Seis. Perfeito, Idis. Vamos ver que rufem os tambores. Oh. <laughs> Ele levou mil dólares. A thousand dollars for you, Idis. Congrats. Muito for Great. Me. Ok, Vinícius, you start now. A primeira revista em quadrinhos foi, foi inventada em The First Comic Book was created in um nove zero cinco um nove zero cinco muito bem it is um um nove zero um seis seis muito bem Oakley um nova nova zero quatro quatro vamos ver quem vai levar mil dólares? 
Oh, you got a thousand dollars, man. Yeah. Thank Congrats. You, thank you. So it's all even. Everybody has a thousand dollars. Let's go okay, to. Okay, great. <laughs> see, he's gonna get the million dollars. All right, uh, it is. Okay. A teoria da relatividade foi criada em by Einstein. Okay. Mm, nove. Uh, what's number four? Uh, quatro, quatro. Okay, muito bem. Uh, Oakley. Mm. Um, nove, uh, is it, oh, tá. tres, what is it? Tres, 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 uh -huh. tres uh, dois. Dois, muito bem. Vinícius. Um, nove, um, Cinco. Nove, um, cinco. Vamos ver. Oh. Um, nove, um, cinco. Parabéns, Vinícius. But, but it's not good. fair because I'm studying <laughs> physics on the universe. <laughs> you see, you're cheating, man. Don't do that. All right. Uh, vamos ver. Uh, Oakley. O primeiro mm. micro-ondas foi criado em... Mm. Um, nove, quatro, dois. Ok. Uh, Vinícius. Um, nove, quatro, seis. Ok. It is. Ok. Um, nove, quatro, uh, zero. Zero. Vamos ver. Vamos ver quem vai levar. Um, Ai. nove, quatro, sete. Ninguém. <risos> ok, ok. Vamos para a próxima. Ainda há chance. E diz, o primeiro homem foi ao espaço em... The first man to go to space. Ok. Um, nove, cinco, uh, seis. Seis, muito bem. Vinícius. Um, nove, cinco, nove. Ok. Oakley. Um, nove, seis, um. Vamos ver. Que rufem os tambores. Ué! Ué! Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh that doesn't count. Oakley, Oakley. <laughs> So, vamos ao placar. Let's go to the score. Vinícius, you got $2,000. Oakley, you've got $2,000. And Edis, you got $1,000. So, okay. Vinícius, <laughs> let's go with you for the next question. Want to be a millionaire? <laughs> o primeiro transplante de coração foi feito em the first heart transplant. Uh -huh, Vinícius. Um... Nove, seis, cinco. It is. Ok. Um, nove, uh, seis, um, seven. Seit? Uh -huh. Seven, right? Seit? Sete. <laughs> ah, ok. Sete. Ok, Re sete. pode repetir? It is sete, perfeito. Sete. Oakley. Um... um Nove, seis, oito. Ok, esta é a última pergunta. The last one, guys. Who got that is going to be the millionaire. So, um, nove, seis, sete. It is! You've oh. got Yay! it! Yay! Yeah. The same that right, won the game. <laughs> yeah, congratulations, it is. Bom, okay. essa foi uma pequena mostra da aula de português. That was a little uh, bit of our Portuguese uh, lesson, guys. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. Obrigado, teacher Tiago. De nada, Paulino. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So now we go to teacher Oakley. Can you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, first of all, thank you, Tiago, even though I think I deserve the million dollars. But uh, that's OK. <laughs> Uh, I'm a teacher Oakley. I'm an American. I currently uh, live in the Philippines. However, 
and uh, I'm enjoying teaching here in the Far East and traveling around and of course working at Verbling and uh, I was very happy to see some of my fellow teachers here have actually been in my class before yay so you too you too could be a teacher wow okay I would like to talk to you ladies and gentlemen boys and girls about intonation intonation matters yes it does Intonation, intonation is the pitch change, high, medium, low, that we use in our voice when we speak English. Actually, we speak any languages, but there are certain factors that we need to take into account learning English. Next. Okay, one second, please. Work okay. Is this. Sure, I can continue. Yeah, uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Three factors that should be taken to it into account uh, when learning intonation are highlighting, just as. Just as syllables have has stress in a word, we say banana, we don't say banana, and we don't say banana. I would like a banana. <laughs> that sounds a little crazy, actually. Uh, so just as we use syllable stress in words, we need to stress some particular words when we speak in a, them in a sentence. Ooh, stress, words, sentence. So uh, more important words, nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, get more stress. In particular, we can add meaning by stressing one word in a sentence. More on that later. Also, another thing to take into account are patterns. There are very specific ways we say things. For example, if I say, it's going to rain, I, it means I'm sure it's going to rain. All right? Uh, however, if I change my pattern and have a rising sound at the end, it's going to rain, uh, it sounds like a question. That's called final rising intonation. Uh, okay. Uh, and then another factor, of course, is expression and emotion. Nobody says, uh, nobody says, I'm so depressed. I'm so sad today. I'm going to jump off a bridge. Yay. <laughs> no one says that, of course. No one says, I won the lottery. I'm a millionaire. Unfortunately, I'm not a millionaire in Tiago's <laughs> game. No one uses low voice. Okay, so let's talk about, I want you guys to practice with me, highlighting here. Okay. Uh, all right, looking at this very simple sentence, I didn't say that. Now, the first one, what I'm going to do if you look at the red, the red word in each sentence, we're going to take turns. For example, I will start with the first one. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. It seems that I am stressing I to mean that maybe somebody else said that, but I didn't say that. Okay? Tiago. Can you try the second sentence, trying okay. to emphasize didn't? I didn't say that, Oakley. Oh, yes, you did, Tiago. <laughs> uh, okay, very good. Uh, Tiago clearly is denying completely. No, there's no way I said that. Very good. Uh, uh, Vinicius, can you try the third sentence? Okay. I did not say that. <laughs> oh, all right. Calm down, 
video. <laughs> uh, very good. Okay, I didn't say that. Okay, maybe he, uh, I don't know, maybe he used hand signals. All right, so maybe he, uh, maybe he wrote that or, uh, or used some other form of communication, but he didn't say that. Uh, okay, Edis, mm. could you could you please read number four, emphasizing the last word? Okay, I didn't say that. I didn't. Okay, I didn't say that. <laughs> okay, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Notice my little hook in my in that. I didn't say that because um. I need to I need to fall on the last word. That's called final falling intonation. But it still mm -hmm. goes up. That, oh, that. oh. Yeah, that's it. That <laughs> is it. I didn't okay. say that. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The, the meaning is uh, maybe that she said something else, not that specifically. Uh, okay. Okay, very good. Uh, all right, intonation patterns. We've already started talking about high and low. Tiago, uh, did you have breakfast today? Tiago, mm -hmm. did you, did yes. you yes, have breakfast? <laughs> you want yes, me to repeat you did. that? No, you, no, I don't. Why, oh, oh, look at that. Tiago said, do you want me to repeat that? Using a higher pitch at the end of his sentence. And now Tiago's teaching my lesson because I had to answer yes or no, all right? When we rise at the end of a sentence, it means we're asking a closed-ended question, a yes or no question. Uh, slide, please. Whoop. On the other hand, uh, on the other hand, uh, Vinicius, Vinicius, yeah. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask you two questions. Did you have breakfast today? Yes. All right. What did you have for breakfast? I have a bread and banana. <laughs> Is that a banana or a banana? <laughs> Just checking. All right. Thank you. All right. Notice when we end the sentence with a low intonation, we're asking an information question. What did you have for breakfast? Notice also that have is highlighted. What did you have? It's up here, it's high, la 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 la, for breakfast. Down there, very low. Okay, what did you have for breakfast? Information questions. He has to give me information. Okay. And last, but hardly least at all, uh, of course, is expressive intonation. Weeha! Okay, here's where we get to have some fun. Uh, okay, Edis, simple, simple slide, just burgers again. That's all I need you to say, but I want you to say it as if you are very surprised. Okay, burgers again? <laughs> Burgers again? Okay, very good. We, when we're surprised, we tend to use pitch change, uh, but very high pitch. All right, very good. Uh, you're the only woman here, so I wanted you to to do the high pitch sound. Okay. <laughs> uh, Tiago, uh, I want you to be angry about it. Mm-hmm. Burgers again. Oh, you're good. You're a very good uh, <laughs> angry English speaker, Tiago. I must say. Thank you. You, ex Thank you, you. excel. <laughs> you excel at, at uh, okay, that's controlled anger. Slow and steady. I'm so angry. Uh, okay, very good. Uh, all right. Um, uh, now, Vinicius, I'm going to give you a challenging one. Vinicius, okay. you just you just don't care. <laughs> you, you just absolutely couldn't be more bored. Possibly, you're bored. 
How do you say that board? Um, burgers again. Very good. You're very boring, Vinicius. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Excellent job. A plus. That's wonderful. Yes, when we uh, when we um, use bored when we're bored we use very flat very little intonation so uh, sometimes when I teach students and they're talking to me like this and everything sounds like this yes teacher I understand what you're saying I think they are very bored and I get very very nervous <laughs> <laughs> so I like to teach intonation in my classes at Verbling uh, okay, a lot of stuff about food there. So, is anyone hungry? Hey, let's go have a burger. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, that'll that will about wrap it up for me. I thank you very much, and I hope you little learned uh, a little bit about the importance of intonation and how it can change meaning in uh, in language. Thank you all very Yay. much. Thank, Thank you, you, teacher Oakley. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bolino. Great. So we're going to go to Chinese right now with teacher Edis. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? My name is Edis. I'm from Hong Kong, and I am a Mandarin teacher. So I have been teaching for two years now, and I can uh, myself. I can speak quite a few languages like Cantonese, Mandarin, English, and I'm now learning Japanese. So I definitely know how to learn a language. So today we're going to talk in my Chinese class, I'm going to teach colors, okay? Before we start, like a lot of people will say like Chinese is so difficult, it's not my type of language. Actually, um, Chinese is not that difficult. And before we start, actually maybe a lot of people say that, like, how do I have the lessons if I don't know tones or any pinyin? No problems. You just have, at this stage, you just have to follow me and imitate what I'm saying. That would be good enough. And thank you for teacher only, because you actually explains a lot in intonation, <laughs> which is a big thing in Mandarin. <laughs> intonation, like in a Western culture, intonation is for like um, when you express emotion, right? Mm -hmm. And in Chinese, we use it to, to design the meaning of the words. So that's intonation. The intonation is just different page, okay? For example, colors, we will say yan se, okay? So you see I put a lot of strength on the se, that mean, it means colors, okay? We do have tones in this. So colors is yan se. So um, whoever that is watching online, okay, watching a live show, I highly recommend you to do this exercise together. At the end of the class, you will definitely learn the colors that you like. You will at least learn the colors that, a few colors and the colors that you like, okay? Okay, right. let's get started. Okay, so the first um, colors we're going to learn is hong se. Hong se. So O N G, you see it there. Actually, it sounds like on. On in English. Okay, so it'll be hong se. Remember, if you like this color, just remember how to pronounce it. That's good enough. Okay, repeat after me. Hong se. Hong se. One more time. Hong se. Hong se. Wow, you guys are doing great. Okay, so remember, just practice the colors that you like. That would be great enough. Okay, next one would be blue. Blue is lan se. Repeat after me. Lan se. Lan se. One more time. Lan se. Lan se. Good. Very good. Lovely. And then next one would be 
白色。So it sounds like something. I want to buy something in the supermarket. Buy.、Mm-hmm. So all you need to do is 白色 Repeat after me. 白色白色 One more time. 白色白色 Okay, great. Now we come to black. So black, hey sir. It really sounds like, hey, how are you doing today? Hey, what's up? So it would be, hey sir. Repeat after me. Hey sir. Hey sir. Okay. Remember the intonation is important because Oakley except swing to me. Hey is high pitch. Where are you high up here? Hey, hey. So you will see, hey sir. Okay. Repeat one more time. Hey, hey sir. sir. Hey sir. Hey sir. Okay. Really good. Really good. And then next one would be yellow. Yellow is 黄色 Repeat after me. 黄色黄色 Yes, very good. You see that every different colors would have 色 at the end because 色 it just means color. And you see 一 S E right? 一 in Mandarin we pronounce as 呃呃 So it sounds like someone asks you something and you don't know how to answer and you say 呃 I don't know. So it's 呃 Uh, 黄色 uh, 黄色 Okay. Really great. You guys are doing great. Okay. So next one, you will ask me, Edith, what is that? The U with two dot. Easy, easy. It's just U, Y U, the same as English. Okay. So U, this is 绿色 Repeat after me, 绿色 You sir. Good. Very good. One more time. You sir. You sir. Very good. You guys are doing great. Next, it's like every different language. We just need to do Chinese. It's not difficult. We just need to practice, practice, and practice. Okay. Next, please. Okay. So this is the six colors that we learned. Let's practice together. The first one, 红色红色 Yes, O N G. It sounds like on. Remember, so 红色红色 Really good. And then we have yellow, 黄色黄黄色色黄色，黄色色。Very good. And then we have blue, 蓝色。蓝色。蓝色。One more time. 蓝色。蓝色。蓝色色。Really good. And then we have green, of course. Green would be 绿色 Remember, U with two dot. Would be Y U. It's U, Lu Sa. Lu Sa. One more time. Lu Sa. Lu Sa. Very good. Very nice. And then of course we have white. White. Do you remember? We go to supermarket and buy something. So it'd be Bai Sa. Bai Sa. One more time, 白色白色白色 Great. And then remember, hey, what's up? And that would be, hey, sir. Hey, sir. Okay. One more time, hey, sir. Hey, hey sir. sir. Okay. So, do you guys remember what colors do you like yet? Do you guys remember yet? Okay. Now we're going to do a bit of practice. 
So do you remember what is this? What is this color? Lan Anyone? Lanza. Yes. Very good. Very oh. good. Oh, that's really great. Lanza. Lanza. Diego, you're really good at color, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. That's my favorite. Is that your favorite color? Yeah, it is. Is that your favorite? Because I love blue. I love blue. I am the blue. I am a blue person, definitely. <laughs> yes, I love blue stuff. Okay, how about white? Anyone can tell me what is white? Buy sir. Very good. You go to supermarket and buy thing. That is buy sir. Very good. And then what is this? Yummy. Anyone? <laughs> Yummy. Yeah. Anyone? Yeah. Remember uh, home. 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 Yes. Very good. Home. Sir. Okay. You remember intonation is important. Like sir, you got to be quick. Sir. How about this? Anyone? Sir. Really good. Huang sir. Huang sir. That's yellow. Okay, next please. Okay, let's do black kitty. Uh, so. Hey, sir. Yes, hey, hey what's sir. up? Yes, that would be hey, sir. Hey, sir. Remember, when you see a way flat tone mark on the top of the alphabet, that means it's high pitch. So it would be hey, sir. Okay, so we have a little green pepper here. Anyone? Green is your, no. you're, you're wearing green. <laughs> yeah. You're wearing green. <laughs> yeah. So but, what is uh, that? I, I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember. Sorry. Remember, Lu Sa. Lu Sa. Yes, you're doing great. Don't worry, Lu Sa. Okay, next please. <clears throat> Okay, and I think so we, it's time? Yeah, I think we that's all the time we have for today. Sorry. Okay, great. But we still have six colors, right? Okay. Remember your favorite color. Yes, yeah. thank you so much. <laughs> so how do I say thank you, teacher Edith? Xie xie. Xie xie? Yes. X-I-E, X-I-E. So it would be xie xie. Xie xie. Xie xie. Xie xie. <laughs> Thank you very much, Teacher Iris. We're going to go to back to Portuguese with Teacher Vinicius. Oi! Oi, Paulino. Hi, everyone. My name is Vinicius. I'm from Brazil. And today I prepared a little lesson about the alphabet and spelling. Yeah. Oi, Teacher todos. Vinicius, how, how about you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. I'm, I'm from Brazil. And I live in a beautiful city. You call this city, the name is the city is João Pessoa. It's a very beautiful city in Brazil. I have studied uh, physics in the university. And uh, I'm, now I'm a law student. And uh, I love teach. I love literature. And so if you can, if you, uh, want to know a, more about me, you can read my profile in adverbling.com. Ok? Uh, olá a todos, meu nome é Vinícius, eu sou do Brasil, moro em uma cidade que se chama João Pessoa, é uma linda cidade no Nordeste do Brasil, estão todos em, em convidados para conhecer. <risos> Great! Uh, yeah. Ok, vamos começar. I'm going to read this and I want to uh, you repeat after me, okay? okay? Alphabet. 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 Okay. The first one. A. 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 B. 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 C. 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 Very good. D. 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 Very good. E. 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 F. 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 G. 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 
G Hurtado. Very good. H. 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 Very good. E. 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 J. 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 K. 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 L. 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 M. M. N. 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 O. 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 Very good. P. 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 K. K. Yeah. One more time. K. K. Very good. R. 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 Yes. S. 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 T. T. Very good. U. U. V. 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 W. W. Great. X. X. Y. 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 Very good. Z. 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 Okay, uh, let's prat a little bit right now. Um, next slide. Okay, how to asking how words and name are spelling. Um, it's a it's important it's an important thing if you walk in, in the street and you can uh, uh, asking someone how to to spelling the name. Um, how do you spell? Uh, it literally means como se soletra. Como se soletra. Very good. Como se soletra. Como se soletra. Letra. Very good. Uh, now uh, you have the question. Qual seu nome? What's your name? Qual é seu nome? Qual é o seu nome? Qual é o seu nome? Nome. Very good. And the answer, my name is and your name. Okay? Meu nome é. Meu nome é. é. Yes. My name. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, let's try with Tiago. How do you spell your name? Uh, mm -hmm. In the Portuguese alphabet, of course. Mm -hmm. Let's start. Qual é o seu nome? Ah, meu nome é Tiago. Como se escreve? Guys, I think it's more, more useful to ask someone like, como se escreve? Mm -hmm. Could you repeat after me? Como se escreve? Como se, como como se, se escreve? escreve? Very good. Como se escreve? Tiago. Como se escreve? Mm -hmm. T. H I A G O. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try with Ides. Okay. Uh, qual o seu nome? Uh, Me nome é Ides. <laughs> oh, very good. Como se escreve? Uh, me na me idas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <we have. laughs> Did you ask me to repeat that? Yeah, yeah, but como how how to spell this? Ah, okay. Oh. Okay. Let's let's uh, the the previous uh, slide, Paulino, please. Okay. So, air, mm, d, air. Uh, I don't remember S. S? Yes. <laughs> I don't remember S. 
Very good. L One more time, please. Okay. L D L S. <laughs> very good. Very good. <laughs> Thank Arkley, you. It's your turn. <laughs> Thank you, Edith. Uh, let's try. Uh, the next slide, please. Um, qual é o seu nome? Meu nome é Oakley. Oh, very good. Como se escreve? I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's oh. try. Let's try. Uh, oh, very good. Very good. Ah, oh. uh, ah. Uh, very good. Ah, uh, ka. Uh, very good. Okay. Ella. Ellie. Ellie. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. e. 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 Ah, uh, ypsilon. Very good. Perfect. Perfect. Mm. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yes. So, is is it epsilon for X or for K? For K. Oh, sorry, Paulino. Why? E why? 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 Yes. Ah, why is epsilon? Epsilon. 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 Very good. Perfect. Okay. Thank epsilon. you, guys. Thank obrigado, you. teacher Vinicius. Obrigado. 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 Hey. <laughs> Great. So, um, thank you very much. We have a, a few more minutes. I would like to um, challenge you with, we're going to move to Spanish now. How do you guys feel about that? Wow. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> you, you I love Spanish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're yeah. totally up for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We are going to try... Let's see. I'm see if I'm I'm trying to think if I should challenge you with that R or with the O. What do you think? Wow. R R. <laughs> with the R. Okay, let's go with R then. <laughs> uh, which is always a hard sound. So we usually uh, many speakers have a hard time with the Spanish. Yes. 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 So yes, yeah, see. Yeah. So before um actually before I start I would like to say hi to a couple of people who are joining us. Let's see here. Jose Antonio, hi guys, I'm here. Hola Jose Antonio. Hi Jose. Hola Jose. And we also have Leonor. So it's a little late, but I'm live in the Portuguese lesson. It's so similar to Spanish. Hola Leonor, thank you very much for for, for, for joining us. Great. It's good to have uh, some audience participation here. So we're going to try the Spanish R. So everyone, who who has a motorbike? I have. <laughs> you have? Wow. Yeah, oh, I do. Diago? Yes, I do. Do you have a motorbike? Yes, Teacher Oakley, I do. Do you have a motorbike? Yes, but it, it's electric, so it doesn't go. <laughs> <laughs> it's electric. It doesn't make a hard sound. Edis, do you have a motorbike? No, I have an electric sword. Like, <laughs> that sound, I just don't, it would go okay. with the same sound, I think. <laughs> we are all going to pretend we have Harley Davidsons. Very wow. loud and noisy. Oh. So everybody go. Brum, brum. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. A very loud Harley Davidson. There we go. Now we're gonna take our Harley Davidson on the road. It sounds like I'm drowning, actually. It sounds like I'm drowning in the water. How much first, Pauline? <laughs> the <helmet laughs> safety. First. safety first. Safety first. So let's try let's try with a tongue twister. I'm gonna say it once and then we're gonna say it uh, uh, one sentence at a time. R con R guitarra, R con R barril. Que rápido ruedan los carros cargados de azúcar del ferrocarril. Lots of R's there. Now, what does that mean? We have R, which is the name for the letter. In Spanish, we used to have one R and then double R. Not anymore. In modern uh, alpha, uh, Spanish alphabet, it's just one. When we say R, um, we just 
write it twice, but it used to be a, a, its own letter. Guitarra, Teacher Oakley, what do you think it is? I imagine it's a guitar. Woohoo! Yes. <laughs> and Tiago Barril, what do you think it is? A uh, barrel. Woohoo! Yes. <laughs> and Teacher Vinicio Carros, what do you think it is? No. Oh, sorry, sorry. Carros. Car. Yeah, a cart, a part, of, a part of the train. Teacher yeah. Iris, azúcar. What do you think azúcar is? I think it's suga. Woohoo! <laughs> <Sí. laughs> <laughs> Teacher Oli, not fair. Perro Carril. Perro Carril, a uh, train. Woo! Choo choo! Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Actually, the, the end of this uh, tongue twister is choo choo. So let's do part by part. R con R. Repeat. R, R con R. 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 Guitarra. Guitarra. R con R. R con R. R. Barril. 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 Que rápido ruedan. Que, que rápido ruedan. Renda. Los carros. Los carros. Cargados de azúcar. Cargados de azúcar. Del ferrocarril. Del ferrocarril. Choo choo. Choo choo. Okay. So we're gonna try it loud first. R con R guitarra. R con R barril. Qué rápido ruedan los carros cargados de azúcar del ferrocarril. Chu chu. Tiago. Sí. R con R guitarra. R con R barril. Qué rápido ruedan los carros. Cargados de azúcar del ferrocarril. Chu chu. Muy bien. Excelente. <laughs> Gracias. Yeah. Teacher, teacher Oakley. Ah, okay. R con R guitarra. R con R barril. Que rápido rueden los carros. Cargados de azúcar del ferrocarril. Carril. Tut, tut. <laughs> tut, tut. <laughs> Muy bien. Teacher, it is. Okay. I'm practicing. Okay. Guitar, guitar, air corner, the lower. I need help. I need help. I need help. How do you pronounce yes. the real sound? Barril. Barril. Uh -huh. Barril. Barril. Que rápido ruedan. Que rápido ruedan. <laughs> Los carros. Los carros. Cargados de azúcar. Cargados de azúcar. Del ferrocarril. De fla o cali. <laughs> That's the best I could get. <laughs> That's the best I could get. That's okay, but you forgot the choo choo part. <laughs> okay, good job. <laughs> Teacher Vinicius. R con R guitarra. R con R barril. Que rápido ruedan los carros cargados de azúcar de del ferro carril. Excellent. Good job. <laughs> now, I'll try it once fast, and then whoever wants to try it, feel free. So, a little faster would be R con R guitarra, R con R barril, que rápido rueda los carros cargados de azúcar del ferro carril. Choo choo. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone would like to try it a little faster? Let me try. Okay, Vinicius. 
R con R guitarra, R con R barril, que rápido ruedan los carros cargados de azúcar en ferrocarril. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Anyone else? I'd like to try, Paulina. Okay. Uh, R con R guitarra, R con R barril, que rápido ruedan los carros cargados de azúcar de ferrocarril. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Great. How are you feeling? Are you feeling courageous today, teacher Edis and Oakley? I'm not gonna impose it on you, but would you like to try a little faster? Oh, oh I'll it's give it too it. difficult for me. Yeah. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay teacher Oakley. I'll give it a run. Era can era guitarra, era can era paril, que rápido reden los carros cargados de azúcar del ferrocarril. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> well, that was it for today. Muchas gracias. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Y um, this is the end of our show today. We have a lot of fun and uh, learned a lot in many different languages. Thank you, everyone, who has been watching or watching this recording. If you see the little link at the bottom says be part of the conversation, if you're watching on YouTube, click on it so you can see the profiles of our teachers here today and you can learn more about them. So, muchas gracias. Thank you very much, Teacher Iris. Thank you so much. It's nice to see you guys. Teacher Vinicius. Muito obrigado, Paulino. It's great to be here. It was great. Yeah. Teacher Tiago. Thank you, Paulino. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Obrigado. Um abraço. <laughs> Teacher Oakley. Thank you, everyone. Great job um, to my fellow teachers. And thank you very much, Paulino. And You're thank welcome. you, everyone. <laughs> You're welcome. So there is one more show with mini lessons with Verblin teachers on Sunday. September 21st at 11 a.m. Central Time or 4 p.m. Uh, GMT. Uh, see you there. Muchas gracias. Goodbye. Adios. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.